All right, welcome back to Talking About Sports. We're here at the Dilworth Neighborhood Grill with Jeff Taylor and William Wilson. Will, you were one of the first NASCAR uh, pioneers on pit road. You were two-time pit crew champion as Jackman for Ted Musgrave. Jeff Taylor, you've covered uh, hundreds, maybe thousands of uh, NASCAR and uh, all series, trucks and Xfinity series race. Now, I think one of the biggest stories this week for me, the Daytona race, the old Firecracker 400, now it's with the Coke Zero 400, moved from Saturday night to Sunday due to rain, and then it was shortened due to rain. Right. And I'm watching the race, thinking, oh, it's a good race. And I'm seeing a lot of, the, a lot of carnage, typical of Daytona, and all that new aero package, bunch racing. All right, so a lot of, big, lot of contenders are out. Kurt Busch is up front. NASCAR, <laughs> one to go. He goes to pit. All of a sudden, uh, let's, let's, let's lightning it. strike. Let's call, let's call it. And exactly. Then, then, he cro- he passed the commit cone, and a yellow light comes right back on. And Justin, what's his name? Justin Haley. Justin Haley. Justin, Justin Haley. Haley, an Xfinity Series regular. In, right. For what? Spire Motorsports. Spire Motorsports. Spire Brand Motorsports. new team. Yep. Brand new team. Yeah. Brand new team. Colleague racing for the uh, Xfinity. Right. Yep. Colleague. But Spire who, who, for who finished one, two, three. Who finished the one, two, three before. the night before? Yep. Yeah, and that was a great story too. That Xfinity race. Yeah. That was a great race the night before. So. I'm thinking, this, this Daytona weekend was the best Daytona weekend, period. And about our, I've our seen, man Cody Connor arrives uh, late models. He does the old Easter Bunny 150. So with Cody Connor, if he's out there, uh, congratulations on the short tracks. But this this new rules package, I love it. I love it too. I love this rules package. I love the blocking. Everything that makes the drivers mad and what makes things exciting for the fans. Uh, they're they're blocking on one and a half mile tracks. Tell that to your buddy Kurt Bo- uh, Clint Boyer, who got blocked by Austin Dillon. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, he wasn't yeah. happy about that. Yeah, a lot of people aren't happy. Well, they don't like the wrecking. They're cool with the blocking. They don't like wreck. no one likes being wrecked, regardless of how you do it. And drop the thing again. Things that make races exciting are because there's always a chance of a wreck or there's people passing. We were seeing people passing. We were seeing people getting run. It was a great, I think great it was race. Too this early for good. Austin Dillon to block Clint Boyer at that point. But you know, a lot of a lot of the old guys asked Ryan Newman, asked some, asked the Allison brothers and Cale Yarbrough. I'm not, you're not going to get in front of me at any time of the race. Hey, every time they race, there's always that one guy that says it was too early to go do this. And, and the gist was, well, listen, Clint Boyer was 50, that guy. To, 50 to go at Daytona, that's when most crew chiefs are going to tell you, go. Yep, after if your last if, in, in, in your 50. lap, 50, 5-0. I've yeah, seen him yeah. say, yeah, no. Yeah. You, you, I mean, the last 15 laps, if you're not up there in those last 15 laps, you're done. Oh, yeah. So those guys who are hanging out in the back of the pack, when it's 50 to go, he's saying you got to go. And, and you know, listen, Justin Haley, say what you want about everybody else and the and the, the drop the red flag and stuff like that. Crew chief said, hey, we're, we're going to take a chance. Well, yeah. He said and, that he was and, no way he was going to come in. He said, I don't care if we ran out of gas, we'd have pushed it. But but they had nothing to lose. Not they a did. thing. He literally was playing with house money the minute uh, he started the car. Will, I know you're good friends with Kurt Busch. Mm-hmm. I still think that there's bad blood between, this is just a personal opinion, not the views don't reflect ADSN, <laughs> but my personal views are that there's heat between Kurt Busch and NASCAR officials, and I think that they knew Kurt, once he went in, they were going to call it just to spite Kurt Busch. That's my opinion. Yeah, but uh, – sorry, go ahead. I, I, I don't know if, if – if, I don't know that much, but I do think – I do think there's some bad blood with someone in, in NASCAR, and I think they did this because Austin Dillon – they were interviewing Austin Dillon two minutes beforehand, and he said he saw lightning. And then two minutes later, as soon as Kurt passed the commit cone, they bring the caution back out. Like, literally, they didn't just see lightning then because Austin Dillon said it on air. Three minutes. Three right. minutes earlier. So they knew the lightning was out there, so they knew what they were doing. That's what I'm saying. And well, was- yeah, but and here's a, I can see both ways, but here's the deal, too. The fans who are there and who've been there all weekend long, do you really think they're happy walking away with Justin Haley winning? No. NASCAR would have been smart to go, Ken, I mean, they had lights. Run no. it at 1130 at night and run those last 30 laps what, what, what the thing with, is- with, with cars that could, could win. But, you fans, know. Fans are never happy, regardless who wins. Fans are never happy with a race that ends under caution. Well, that's like, true, yeah, especially Daytona. Time. Yeah, I ninety-eight agree. Daytona yeah. five hundred. And, and you spent an extra day at the track. You spent extra. You spent another night getting hotels and yep. food. You've invested even more into it. Some people extended themselves financially to be able to stay there because they're, like, they're like, I put so much into this. I got it. I can't put. I can't spend two thousand dollars and not even see the race. So they get another hotel room and all those types of things, and to have the under the cost, they're never happy anyway. Now, had had they went back green, green white checker, Justin Haley wins it. Cool. Have at it. People love the the track. Win it under green flag. Yeah, because they got lights to let it do what it's going to do. But I understand NASCAR calling it. That's why a lot of people were pushing from the very beginning. Said, look, it's weather coming. We don't know when they're going to call it. If we get through stage two, they could call this at any given time. Yes, right. Once you pass the halfway point, game on. And NASCAR has shown that if 
if the right guy gets the Darlington stripe, they call it caution. Oh, yeah. If a wrong guy gets the Darlington stripe, we stay green. Right. Yeah. NASCAR is shown to be consistently inconsistent depending on who's doing uh, what. Dale Jr.'s lap down, we're going to call a caution to get at Martinsville. Remember that? Uh, yeah. Yep. He spun himself out and right. got his lap, lap back, and I think they had to implement but, a rule about that. And a, and a cool part about this now, they're moving the race to August, and it's now the last race before the playoffs start, Daytona. Uh, it is. And yeah. you think it's going to be crazy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be they, crazy there. You think that, that next August, that's going to be insane. Yeah, because I've, I've been on pit road because you, you, you didn't think he, when Jeff said 50 laps. I've been on pit road. I've been on, on the box, and I've heard it, two chiefs say, hey, We've done last stop. You got what you got. Go. Go up front because you know a wreck's coming. The closer, you, the closer you are, the better chance the wreck's behind you. And, and 30 so- to go or 33 to go when the wreck happened with Austin Dillon and Clint, he going to block. I mean, 30 to go, we're, we're blocking. We're, you're going to have to wreck me to get by me. I had just told a friend of mine, my, my buddy Clavon Lowe, I had just told him, I said, this wreck, normally the wreck has behind us. I said, this wreck will probably happen. Who's the leaders? From the leaders. Uh-huh. I said, the guy in first place may be the one causing this wreck. We hung up, and 30 seconds later. I give props l- to Clint lead. because they were asking him, I don't know who was the, doing the, uh, the guy, they got him in the back after the, the health care center. Clint Boyer's like, well, what do you think? He blocked you? He's like, uh well it, he didn't bite the, he didn't take the bait right because I think he wanted to, he was going to go look for him and he wanted to give him a few uh, letters that, words they couldn't have said on TV no no if Clint wanted to go look for him Clint was going to go look for him Clint Clint don't let stuff like that hold him back Are you so but from, he bit his tongue the, was from, Clint from, the one from, who who chased down Jeff Gordon in Phoenix no that, that, that no, you, no you're talking about was it um, Jamie Mc, who was you're it? talking about Matt Kenseth. Oh, oh, that's Matt Kinsey and Brad Kozlowski. That's Brad Kozlowski. Right, okay, I got you. I got you. Matt, 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 Matt Kinsey jumped Brad Kozlowski between the trailers. <laughs> you know how bad you got to be to make Kat Kinsey chase you down? <laughs> but, yeah, but it was Jeff Gordon. Yeah, because um, Gordon Jeff pushed Kinsey, him when he had his helmet on. Playoff, right. Kept him out of the And the crews got into it. Yeah. Back in the garage. Because that's how you do. If your driver swing, you swing. Yep. You figure out why you swing it later. Remember that Kyle Busch walked by himself down to, who was it, uh, Logano's pits? Yeah. And then the crew jumped Oh, yeah. Roughed him up, gave him a, like, I did. I driver, I wish you would have. I wish you would. Have Somebody gone up, try to hit, try to hit, you coming hit, down? Going Ted, up here, here's my question. Jason left turn, Greg Biffle, anybody that I'd work with, if you go at my driver, we going to have a problem. And he's going in a suit, too. I'm going in <laughs> a suit. <laughs> we going to have a problem. Now it's uh, custom made. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you, don't, you don't touch our driver. Yep. Make, now, make. we may not know why we fighting. We may find out later. Why were we fighting them? Well, he spun us out of out of turn three. Oh, okay, cool. Now I know. This is when we get this fine. We know why. Right. <laughs> we, it's, like day, it's like Days of Thunder. Remember that the what was it the the, the Park Chevrolet team? Oh yeah. The, the who was the Randy cr- Quaid's team? Yeah. Both of them fought each other. Well, and with Cole Trickle and uh, Rowdy uh, whatever Rowdy Rowdy, Yates, Rowdy Gaines Rowdy, Rowdy Gaines. Bush whatever. Before we get out of this, though, one thing for Justin Haley. Congrats to him because last yes. year in the in the Xfinity series, yeah. he won. But he went below the double line, I was about to and say, NASCAR took it away from him. He did go below the line. He did go. He can't go below the line. So, and they, so they position. took the win yep. away last year. Then Friday he finished second, right? And then yep. Sunday he wins. So and, and hey, he got he has a Cup Series win. And congrats to Spire Racing. Yeah. you have it. You're a Cup. No matter how good or bad you do for the rest of your life, you want it, Justin Daytona. Haley. You want a Daytona, yep. and you want a Cup race. Congrats. You want a points race. All right, before we go to a break, I want to give a shout out to one of our listeners who watches ADS in every week. My friend Chuck Smith down at uh, Rhino Demolition down in uh, Myrtle Beach, uh, Calabash, go, boom, North Carolina. Boom. Uh, CEO of Rhino Demolition. I am uh, sporting my Rhino gear. I do need some new ones. Maybe you can ask President Jake Smith if I can get some new gear. <laughs> now that you hired Jay Style to, to come on board, I hope there's some plenty of gear. He does wear my size. Wait, so, hey, somebody turn that alarm clock off. I know some people just fell asleep. Right. Shout out to <laughs> Big D, Cerebral Assassin, and the. Babyface assassin uh, links uh, link snappy. So uh, I have no idea, but that's okay. Did you know that the uh, women's soccer team won? I well, heard that. Okay, good. I heard. We'll talk about that. We're coming back with more talking about sports right. Now.